My name is Lauren and I am an illustrator and I work as the creative director at Ample Hills Creamery. When I decided that I wanted to apply to art school, I had a really hard time deciding whether I wanted to just go to like a fine art school or whether I wanted to apply to a liberal arts college and study art. I ended up doing the latter and I ended up actually studying art history at Smith. And I took oil painting classes all throughout my time at school, drawing classes, but that was really the main focus of my education was art history and about curation and about how we look at art and think about art. A typical day for my day job, I work as the creative director at Ample Hills. I have created a cow, pig, and chicken to be mascots of this ice cream parlor, and I draw them every day. I try to go to an Ample Hills location at least once a day. There's one two blocks from my house, so that makes it easy. It's a lot of responding to emails. There's a lot of taking pictures of ice cream, posting on social media. Um, there's usually putting out some sort of fire of some sort uh, that's on an immediate basis. Such and such needs ice cream to take pictures. Such and such didn't get their package. Uh, and then there's usually a period of time that I try to work on a a bigger long-term project, whether it be pint designs or a logo revision, a website revision, I try to devote some time to uh, working on like a big picture issue so I don't get fed up or caught up rather. <laughs> in... I don't know if I possess this quality as much as I want to, but I think that something that entrepreneurs or uh, self-employed people or people that work freelance or people that work for themselves, they need to have uh, this discipline to get up and set aside hours that you devote to yourself and you devote to your own projects. I think that it can be really hard to find the time to do something that's for you and for your own projects and for things that make you really happy. So I think discipline is required. I try to, uh, what is it, think big and act small. So to have uh, strategies and marketing things and uh, marketing goals um, and brand tenants and to think about those and what those are and building those up as they relate to a big brand, but executing them in small ways. The first meme that I ever painted is called Ikea Monkey. I was really drawn to this image of this monkey standing alone in an Ikea parking lot. I painted it, I thought it was beautiful, there's something about like the isolation of this animal. Whatever. <laughs> I did this, I put it online, it got a great deal of really positive feedback, and Anderson Cooper's producer contacted me and asked me if I would bring a print of Ikea Monkey to the show to give to him. I, <laughs> I get it framed and I'm all excited. So the producer sets me up in the audience and it's gonna be a surprise. Anderson Cooper. They turn to me and I and I pull around my painting and he just starts giggling like in this like the sweetest most sincere way and we talked about monkeys for 15 minutes on camera. I don't know if they ever actually showed that but it was it was a lot of fun. You don't follow the path that you created. And I think that being mindful of that choice and being deliberate in the path that you choose to follow and making choices about the type of work that you want to do and the type of people that you want to work with, I think there's something so wonderful about knowing that you have a vision and you have strengths. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos of women excelling in their careers, hit subscribe.